So hello and good evening. This is Ruth Pasola from Curval.com and uh, we are talking about PDF files again. Um, if you are not aware, I've published a video uh, this week, I think it was, uh, on how to import PDF files into Power BI. But uh, the source we used, this is, uh, I did it together with Imke. And the source we used was an online source. And uh, I got a question, how do you do when you want to publish multiple files? I just show one file on my video. So I have done that video too. And uh, I've got a question now, okay, how do I import from my local folder and uh, to grab them automatically multiple? So I'm going to do this video very quickly today. I normally don't publish on Sundays, but uh, I had some time. So uh, I will show you how to import PDF files in Power BI automatically from your local folder. Okay. So without any more delay, let's do it. Okay, so here we are in Power Query. I've already imported Imkel's function, okay? And if you don't know how to do this, there is a video explaining this on the description box or it will pop up here on one of the corners. So make sure you check that out first because you need to have R installed, you need to install a few things before getting this working. But everything is explained on that video, so don't worry. So what I'm going to show you today is how you can actually get local PDL, PDF files uh, and just import them automatically. So what we're going to use is new source, more, and then we're going to get it from a folder. Click OK and now we browse to a place where we have our PDF files. I've just downloaded two PDF files on my computer. It is on the downloads folder, but it could be any folder. OK, so just navigate to where you have your PDFs. So once you have that, you click OK, and then you click Edit. Because it could be that in that folder you have other things than PDF. So like in this case, I have all kinds of installation files. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we only have PDFs. So just get the extension and click on PDF, and that will show us the two PDFs that I've got on that folder. So this is great. Now, if you remember from the import PDF video, what you need for this function to work is the path to your PDF. And then here it will allow you to say, okay, I want to import by paragraph or by line. Um, so we need to have the path to our PDF. And this is very, very easy because we already have it here. You see, here's the folder path and this is the folder name. So what we need to do is add a column, custom column, and just get folder path and concatenate it with the name. And this is our PDF URL. OK, so click OK. So now here we have the path to our PDF files. We're going to remove the other columns. So we don't want them. And now we're going to invoke, we're going to use this function that Imke created for us. So you go in here, invoke custom function. We have only one function here, so it's the only one that shows up, import PDF. And we want by line. And here, PDF, I mean, Power BI already knows because it's the only column that we have. But if we would have more columns, we will have to choose here where the path to the PDF file is. We click one. This is if you have a password protected PDF, then you can put here the owner and the user. We would like to get feedback on these. So if you have tried these and it works, just go to Imke's page and give her a thumbs up so she knows that it's working, okay? So click okay. Open here. And here we have the contents of our PDF files of both of them. So as you can see, it's very, very, very easy to do this. So just uh, go ahead, check it out, and hopefully it will work. So ladies and gentlemen, this is all for this wonderful Sunday. Um, if you enjoyed the video, let me know by liking it. And if you would like anybody else to know, just make sure you share it. You have all the share buttons down below. If you are new to uh, my channel, I publish Power BI videos every Wednesday, Monday 
on Friday, what I odd order to say. Um, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them. And to make sure you don't miss them, make sure you click the bell to receive notifications, okay? Um, other than that, just have a fantastic weekend. And I'll see you again on Monday. I have a great video prepared for you guys. So make sure you don't miss it. Um, have a great day. Bye.